Hi everyone, this is Stephen Stewart. I'm the chair of Mustango River Resources, and I'm going to run through a very brief Goldie um, webinar and presentation on the Shibandoan district as a whole and focus in on what Delta Resources has been doing on their Delta One project, which is really exciting and and what we think is 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 the same as what uh, Goldie is. I honestly believe that these two projects need to come together. They are the same in terms of the geology, and we're going to show uh, some evidence to suggest that the the Delta One project runs on to, um, to the east, onto Goldie, and to the north, onto Goldie. Um, that's where the mineralization is trending. Um, Mustango just raised $1.2 million, and it's going to be focusing uh, in on what we've learned uh, about Delta's fantastic work. They've done an excellent job at um, taking what is an interesting area and proving out this thesis by uh, pulling fantastic drill holes, uh, 1,600 grams per ton, 700 grams per ton. Uh, over narrow widths, uh, all within uh, very broad 100 meter uh, one gram zones. So this is a very interesting project to quote uh, Delta's chairman. They think it's the the, uh, the most interesting or the biggest gold discovery in 2023. Uh, if that's the case, that's fantastic news for Mustango. I hope that's true. Um, it looks interesting, I have to say. Uh, but this is the area. This is called the Shabanduin. And it's uh, been well known by some people, but really hasn't had any systematic um, exploration in, in a long time. And largely it's been dormant uh, until the success of Delta. They've gone from five cents to 60 cents and they just raised $10 million, which is going to go into the ground. It's going to go into uh, the ground right where our border is. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. But first, a little bit about Goldie. Uh, we had um, Stango has been there for a long time, but it only owned 50% of the Goldie until September of last year when it Acquired 100% interest in the Goldie, which was then 10 square kilometers. Just recently, uh, we uh, acquired a huge expansion of uh, the westerly trend all along the Shabandawan. The Shabandaman, uh, excuse me, the Shabandawan runs uh, east west and actually almost straddles the Trans Canada Highway. Uh, you can see our, our land package there. We, we bought this uh, huge trend, but the area of interest here is over here right where the border of Fort Worth Delta is drilling and, and where we are, where we drilled in December and January and showed a repeating structure, very same uh, same rocks that Delta's been pulling out of the ground we have on ours. That's in addition to the direction of, of the Delta One project where that mineralization is going. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of different areas of interest. Uh, this whole trend here, uh, I guess, caps off on the West. Gold Shore has got about 6 million ounces at one gram, but they're trying to move forward on the on the, on the the far West of this. And then there's a couple other deposits. This whole mineralization is quite similar. It tends to be um, uh, quite continuous, which is good for these lower grade deposits. And then it gets juiced up when the cyanite comes and and uh, sort of in, in, it forms an intrusion and, and really gets these higher grade intersections. Again, 1,600 grams per ton, 700 grams per ton, which is also, I'll note, part of the deeper trend or deeper mineralization that, that Delta has been drilling. Prior to um, their success, they have been drilling only shallow holes and getting these 100 meter intersections. But as you go deeper, they're, they're hitting this um, very, very rich gold, which... And it's not that deep. We're talking, you know, still only two to three hundred meters. So there's it's early days here, but it's uh, there's an awful lot of smoke and an awful lot of interest, and we're excited to be a part of it. So um, this is just drilling into the area of interest, and and this this whole area here. So this is the border. This is um, the Stango here to the north and Delta uh, One project uh, to the south here. Again, the Trans Canada Highway. This is their uh, area of interest where they've been drilling. This about a kilometer long um, uh, strike. They're drilling, they're pulling the latest holes you're seeing are all to the east, all in this area here. So that's why we say it is uh, trending to the east. And I'm going to show how it's dipping to the north. And that's relevant because obviously we're north. And then they're also focused going forward on this, uh, what they will call a mag low system, which really just straddles in it. And it's really just both, um, it's it's relevant to both of us. And so that's where uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, drilling in 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 the future. And I suspect a lot of that $10 million that Delta drills is going to be focused on the East. Um, you can see here, uh, Mustango drilled in December, January, and we drilled off um, wide intersections, lower grade one grammars, nothing sexy like 1600, um, 1600 grams per ton or 100 meter intersections on, on this Northern section here, but no question, it's the same style of mineralization. It's very shallow. Uh, pretty wide. And we think it's so far, we're, we're thinking this is some sort of a repeating structure. 
uh, clearly more work to do onto this, but this so far is, is definitely where we're getting, or I should say Delta is getting all the attention and the love here. Uh, we had these two holes here, which were our only two diamond drill holes. So we're very um, early on this. We hit that structure. We we hit what we think is visible gold. We had to send the assays back for metallic screen. Uh, metallic screen is used when you have nuggety gold. It picks it up much better for fire assays. And we're waiting to see what the what those uh, tell us. But uh, but there's no question that uh, this this trend comes right over here. And um, we're going to be poking some holes. We we got to prove uh, that that mineralization comes. So that's the bet ultimately for Mr. Ango is is uh, does what Delta's doing come onto our project? Uh, and we think it dips to the north. There's no question it dips to the north. The question is, does that high grade mineralization come onto our project? We think it certainly has um, a good chance at doing. I showed you before the Trans Canada Highway. This is it right here. This comes from Delta Resource. Uh, presentation themselves, and you can see the mineralization. You're looking east, so you can see it comes to the north, and potentially, if this cartoon holds true, um, crosses onto our project here, and this is where, at depth, they're getting the lower grade. So that's what we think um, our project is is effectively the same. So it's one project, right? It's geology. Mother Nature doesn't discern between um, mineral claim boundaries, and uh, we think we're a part of this story, and it could be really exciting, but it is early days, and mustang has got some work to do. Uh, going forward, this is the mag low. This is the next thing we're going to do. I'll just note that when we did this drilling um, in the, at the end of last year, we did so in a, in a sort of rushed manner, if you will. As I said, we acquired it in September uh, 100%, and that's when we became serious about it. And then um, we had to spend some flow through dollars, but it, we now we're doing our homework um, in much more detail. Um, now we're going to be doing our own uh, MAG survey. We've commissioned a MAG survey. Uh, drone is going to be very detailed. And that's, again, where Delta has been getting success in talking about this MAG low feature, which uh, has been outlined here in the red. And again, uh, this is part of our project. So the Trans-Canada Highway represents the, effectively the boundary. And you can see it comes onto our project. And so uh, especially if this dips north, um, it becomes very relevant to Mustango and expect us to test test this and see what happens. So um, that's a very brief summary of why I think uh, Goldie is very interesting and why I think the value proposition is why should you buy a share of Mustango? Because Mustango is effectively trading at cash um, relative to its uh, working capital. Uh, it's, it owns this project 100%. We've got what we think is the largest land package in the Shaban. And now with this acquisition, we're going to be drilling. We've got $1.2 million in flow through, which uh, we're going to be, and we're permitted, so that that's going to happen relatively quickly. But we're doing our homework. We're doing some mag, and we're going to get out there um, and drill. And then, of course, uh, Mustango. Aside from just this project, which Mustango owns 100% of, it also owns these projects that Agnico Eagle is spending in Kirkland Lake. They're spending uh, 57 million dollars over the next uh, eight years. That's that's the deal there. Mustango also has 15% um, ownership of the Manor Bridge nickel mine. It also owns $2 million in an arm's length equity position um, that we have yet to disclose, but that, that could be interesting. So so st stay tuned. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot of optionality baked into Mistango. And, and then of course, there's a lot of exploration upside, which we're uh, trying to uh, uh, prove by um, a lot of the evidence that demonstrates the Delta one trends to the East and dips to the North. Um, but Mustango needs to prove that with the drill bit and we're financed to do so. So please stay tuned. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, here are my contacts and, and thank you for your time.